Welcome back to another Team Solomon Circus video. Today we're here with Angus. He played, you got second place today, and you're, what were you playing today? Uh, Plunder Patrol Adventure. This is uh, pre the new set where we get the Earth ship, where if that existed, uh, probably would have been first place. So that would have been cool. But anyways, yeah. Um, so it's pretty basic. Uh, a lot of this will change come the, the new cards, mainly because of Kashtira, uh, which I, this deck actually has a pretty decent matchup against. Um, and then also uh, the new ship coming out, which is an Earth monster, which is really useful and has other it's also a pendulum. Change in a, yeah that, that is irrelevant um but it having the uh the ability to change uh attributes is really really useful so the the basic ratios uh three white beard uh this is like your best discard off any of your effects um it's a tuner it can summon cards um from your deck to just kind of get more combos it's just like uh, a body that always will provide another body most of the time which is really nice uh, a good normal summon as well to work with the adventure cards um another thing is too with the adventure cards we just don't play any normal summons that actually matter so they just work really well together um three bluebeard um this is an extender in the hand it's just if you control another plunder it can summon itself a uh, really good card um just again just like whitebeard it's just a body that summons itself and then it also can net you a card sometimes and maybe even provide discard fodder and to trigger your effects and just get some more free cards um nothing to say really about bluebeard it's just another body which is really nice uh three black eyes um black eyes is really good because uh it really helps sometimes with plunder's main issue that it had where if you discarded a card that you needed to uh, or summon a monster that you needed to use to make the link and then you would have no plunder cards left in hand with black eyes in your hand you can then just target a card in your graveyard and add it back to have his discard fodder um, and it's also just another extender with a body without using your normal summon which is really nice and this deck if you can afford to keep up the griffin and the token at the same time it's really nice having the extra almina gate um another three of in the plunders is golden hair um it by itself is your link too which is really nice with almirage um, and then also just being another card that you can discard and then summon back and discard to trigger another like white beard or other monsters like that is really good um, Yeah, again, not much to say here. All these cards uh, mandatory three ofs in this deck um, Maybe not blue beard in the future, but right now it's definitely a three of um, You just want to try and max out on most of the plunder names where we only play two red beard because this card on its own is really bad um, you need it to work probably with other cards because its effect equips two other Plunder Patrol monsters, which is nice. Um, it has other random synergies with other parts of the deck. Um, also, it's just, again, another Plunder Patrol name, and you need those in your hand for your actual uh, monsters to get their effects to work. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good card. It has some useful things. Um, I had a game today where uh, if I summon this off of the White Beard instead of the other one, um, it would have been... Uh, game by 500 against a flunder player but um i wasn't sure if they had a hand trap so i didn't summon it but if i did it can equip itself um randomly when you have your field spell up and just gain more attack points which is really nice um but yeah you just three of every blunder monster and then two red beard um you could play three but we had to cut for non-engine and stuff like that because we want to keep it at 40. um so bestial cards just a small little engine um this honestly could increase um this deck has kind of a poor Shizu tier matchup. Um, even though the attributes are usually in your favor, it's because that deck just can really overwhelm you it's and outpace okay. you. Um, so these help with that. And then also, um, Golden Hair and Whitebeard are level four tuners that you can just normal summon, which is really nice. Um, paired with any of these is a Baron, um, which is super, super useful. Um, but these cards themselves uh, just really good cards in the game. Um, max out on Magnema because it can search Druus Worm on the next turn. And Druus Worm is like the best target to search with these. You can definitely play more Bestials, but I'm playing a lot of uh, different non-engine cards right now that will definitely change come the next set. Um, and also, our locals doesn't have a lot of Ishizu tiers, so I don't have to play a larger engine. But if there were a lot more, I'd probably play more. Um, then for the Adventure Engine, uh, three Water Enchantress, uh, one Griffin, three right, uh, one Faithful Adventure, and one Draco back. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, the only really interesting thing about these cards with the Plunder cards is you don't have a normal summon effect. Um, the Adventure cards are really good um, come next set against versus the Cash TR cards, um, apart from Modern Enchantress itself because it banishes. But um, being able to get the Draco back and have like spells that can't really be interrupted that well by the opposing deck is really nice. Um, but this card specifically is really good with Plunder. It's disgusting. Because the Plunder cards get uh, equipped to the monsters and then it protects them by battle uh, once. 
Not a lot of people really read that effect because they just remove the token and think that's it. Um, so I've had a lot of matches and it's also a local, so it's probably not even a relevant thing, but it, it, is, it is really nice that uh, people will attack your monsters thinking they killed it and they can't because it saves itself. I did um, that. Yeah, but yeah, no, so the, uh, the adventure package synergizes really well. Being able to discard as well with the, um, with the Faithful as well to discard Whitebeard or something like that or discard other cards is really nice. Um, the Plunders being water with this is kind of cool. It doesn't really come up anymore, but it was cool back when you could play the Water Drummer. Um, then three of the Field Spell, we play a Terraforming as well to have Max because this is any other Plunder card and also a discard outlet for a lot of your cards, which is really nice. This would be a Plunder Patrol ship shape ship shipping, um, but I don't have one, so it is a terraforming. Um, I do need one for this deck because it is really good. Um, and then play one emblem. It's searchable. It comes up. Um, it's very relevant in your matchups where your opponent doesn't have the attributes you want and you do. Like either it be with your um, link monsters or by using um, your extract monsters or the. Uh, um, bestials because you can use your own darks which is really nice um, your own lights um, it was really really good a while ago when you could play more hand traps um, instead of some of the cards I'm playing now um, because you could just like target your own monster and play on your own turn before your opponent interrupted you which is really nice um, and it's also just a really good card to follow up with it's also an equip which randomly comes up with fateful adventure um, yeah it's just a one of that's searchable it's really nice uh, three Forbidden Droplets um, and Two Desires. The reason I'm showing these cards at the same time is come catch DR format, uh, you don't play any of these cards. Um, Desires because you don't want to banish and remove all your cards from your deck and then trigger their Diabolos. Um, even though this card is Pot of Greed and it's really good going first, um, you just don't want to play it and deck yourself out. Um, and then this, because it has to send a graveyard, it's not good against the Macrocosmos. Um, but this card is absurd with the Blunder cards. And the adventure cards. You get you have so many cards you can just send for free and they replace themselves, which a lot of decks don't have, which usually makes this card really bad. But in this deck, it's really, really good. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, and then uh, one Call by the Grave, uh, Self-Explanatory Ash is the FDK against my deck. Um, and then Plunder Patrol Booty. You just play one because it's searchable and it's very, very important in the matchups where right now Earth and Wind decks like Flunder or... Um, uh, Earth Machine or decks like that where you don't really have access to your own extra deck so you use this card to change the attributes and be able to have access to your cards that actually are really good in those matchups and also it just special summons back cards so I had one game where I linked summon into Blackbeard um, did something they, they beat the monster then I was able to like bring back Blackbeard with this on their turn which is really nice um, having a monster reborn in this deck is pretty useful because Whitebeard and Redbeard as well also have the quick effects on your opponent's turn to special summon from the extra deck um, that so makes yeah, sense. yeah, booty is just a really good card. It's a one of because you need it, um, and you need to be able to play against decks that they don't have attributes of. Um, for the extra deck, these are the mandatory cards: three Blackbeard. I've seen some people playing two, and they're just wrong. Uh, you play three because this card is very, very important. It starts ninety percent of your combos. It draws you a card, which is really good. Um, and it being able to just kind of bring out any of your forms of interruption is incredibly important. If it gets hit and you're out of two, like I almost find like every second or third game, um, especially if it's a grind game, I'm going through all three of these cards. Um, the thing is though, Black Eyes can shuffle these back. Like it can put them back and recycle them. Um, and this extra deck actually has become quite tight, especially come the next set where you have another ship that you have to include in your deck. Luckily that one replaces itself, so that's okay. But um, yeah, I think you have to play three of this card because it's just your whole engine. It's, it's incredibly important and act, brings you access to all your forms of interruption. Um, so then the forms of interruption, two mark. Um, it's a pretty good card. Its overlay effect is actually neglected a lot, but being able to overlay and protect your cards from battle or destruction is really relevant. Um, and being able to catch your opponent off guard when they're playing like a deck like Flunder or something and overlay into this in defense and banish their M pen is really, really nice. Um, you play two because against the actual dark decks, you're more than likely always going to be going through two of these. Being able to know your... The most important thing with Plunder um, and decks like this that are kind of mid-rangey and more control is being un understanding when the choke points are for your opponent's decks um, and being able to like banish the right cards and stop them from making their optimal boards and make it more awkward for them so you can like pull ahead because 
The cool thing about these cards is they also replace themselves when you discard a plunder card. Like this one searches spells and traps after it discards a card, which is really nice, which then is another card for your other cards to discard, which is why I want to play um, Ship Shape Ship Shipping, because discarding that, then being able to equip Emblem or another card from deck on the next turn and bounce it back with your field spell in your grave or something like that is super, super good and really good for resource management. So this card's really strong. Um, two lists. I wish I could play three. Um, there's not a lot of light decks right now, a lot of light hand traps, um, but being able to uh, special summon back the monsters in the spell and trap zone is very relevant. Like being able to Blackbeard and then end of main phase, summon Black Blackbeard, your opponent passes, in your draw phase you go Blackbeard, being able to summon another ship and then summon it back again and just have like four bodies in through one card is really absurd. Will I be able to summon back out the, uh, the Pendulum monster? Um... I genuinely, I think it says, or does it have to be equipped, or face up in the spell and trap card zone. Yeah, so it definitely. So it, it, I'm pretty cool. sure it can, yeah. But the the thing is, you don't want to all the time because it can just replace itself, like it, it puts itself back, yeah. um, and it summons a token out of the attribute in the pendulum zone, which is really use, useful. Uh, but this card is really good. It can help you climb to game where normally you wouldn't be able to. Um, yeah, just being able to also have the monster negate. Like I had this as my fifth summon a lot against a lot of decks, even though Nibiru is not that popular or prevalent, um, being able to have it on your fifth summon is just super nice. Um, and also, um, <laughs> uh, ship shape, ship shipping is a fusion spell, so being able to fuse into this like normally without having to use Blackbeard's effect to summon it is really useful as well. Um, one brand. Um, I wish you could play more because it's really good for OTKs. Um, that's about it though. It deals with some problem cards. Um, but it's 90% of the time just used for an OTK. Um, it's a really good card. Um, it's going to become even better when the new Pendulum comes out because you'll be able to use it more freely by making more fire monsters on their board. Um, but yeah, we just play one because that's all we really can afford to play with the extra X space we have in this deck. Um, yeah, it's, it's the worst ship, but it's still incredibly important because it is part of your toolbox. Um, one Selene, one Dark, one Access Code. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. You're playing the adventure cards, so that's a spellcaster for Selene um, in Water Temple. Um, dark is the best charmer because you just have your um, beast eels, which are dark, um, being able to just summon it, uh, summon a monster back for your opponent, make Selene, summon back, and then make access code and just pop a bunch of cards is really useful. Um, again, pretty self-explanatory. Um, one Almirage is the last link we play. Uh, just for Golden Hair, if it's your only card with another plunder card, uh, being able to normal summon, discard, uh, make this, make Blackbeard, really useful. Um, and kind of a requirement because it helps brick hands. Uh, for the non-plunder XYZs, Bahamut Shark, and totally awesome. Um, Bluebeard is able to special itself um, and not lock you into plunder monsters. So you're able to summon this with a normal summon of any plunder and special. Um, so it can come up a lot as your last combo instead of like going for Blackbeard against certain decks where you know that you're not going to be able to have the proper attributes for interruption, and then you just summon the Toad. Um, and Toad's nice because it can just add back a Plunder card after it negates and then get your Plunder engine live. Um, and then this is a Baron. I just don't have one and I was borrowing one. Um, it's a really good card. Normal summon any of your level 4 tuners. Uh, sync with um, uh, the Beast Eels into Baron. Um, super useful. Um, a requirement probably if you're playing the Beast Eels. Um, yeah, just another really good card in the deck. Um, yeah, and then side deck, uh, three gamma, one driver. The side deck definitely can change, it's not optimal. Um, it's just for a local, so it's whatever. Um, just a very strong going second card. Uh, two droll. Droll's very awkward in this deck, but really important against a Flunder matchup. And, uh, <laughs> Dark World? <laughs> uh, not Dark World, uh, well, yes, Dark World, but don't care about Dark World that much. It's more so the, the Earth Machine matchup. Oh, yeah. It's really, really rough. Um, because you don't have your Earthship yet, so yeah. Uh, three Lightning Storm for back Red X, three Dark Ruler for Sprite, and some other just annoying decks, and then three Solemn for going first. Um, yeah. Well, congratulations it. on getting second, and uh, thank you for the deck profile. Yeah, no problem, man.